From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big noon time here on LA Late, and I'm back with exciting details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we're gonna go first over the monthly stimulus checks and why you may actually get more months of checks than earlier this week. Then we turn to the second part of this video, the two-path process, and why the two-path process may ultimately give you more other money as well. OMG. And then the third part of this video, we'll be going over calling the vote and why it's important to know how they call the vote is more important than when they call the vote. And breaking news about this as well. Then we turn to fifth stimulus, which raised your benefits up a lifetime, and we have breaking news about that, plus another stimulus check, and we go over the big money that you can get across the board. One viewer got $22,000. It's a big noon time. It's a big day. I'm excited for all the details. And here we go on Noontime LA. Good noon time, everybody. How you doing? Congratulations. You made it to the weekend. You made it to the weekend. I'm going to be with you all weekend long. Uh, it's very exciting. There's going to be a lot of breaking news all weekend long, so stay with me. I'll have a full schedule of programming all 4th of July weekend. But how's the weather? How's the weather where you are? Uh, it's perfect at the moment here in Southern California, in Santa Monica, live with you this Friday noontime. How's the weather? Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how the weather is. In this first stimulus check recording, we got a lot to go over. All great news. We're going to go over the monthly stimulus check, why there may be more months. Then we're going to go over the two-path process and why the recon may be giving you other money on top of that that we never knew about before. And then the third part of this video, we'll be going over how they call the vote, the fact that they're working on all this next week, and there's incredible details about what they're working on next week. I have all that. Get your calendar out. I have all the details for you. And then we turn to Fist Stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime and gives you another stimulus check. OMG. And then the big money the viewers get, like Nisi, who got $22,000, and Arn, who got three items. This is our life. America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. Live in the morning, like right now, and taped in the afternoons, like Afternoons LA, coming up at 3 o'clock today. A big show. It's a new show, and it's a great one. Followed by Evenings LA at 5 p.m. tonight. Don't miss that new show tonight, followed by Overnight's Crypto. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. Next stop, 1 million. Also, like this video. Every time you like the video, it makes Mitch very angry. <laughs> And when Mitch is angry, you're winning. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Let's get into that monthly stimulus check. You know, we started the week by saying, well, they may say the pandemic's over. <laughs> and that was a fascinating twist because now the pandemic may not be over. And that could be more checks for you. OMG. Let's go over the details. How's the bill? Pandemic plus one year. There you go. Senate. Monthly to July to December. Okay, less checks from the Senate. Let's compare the monthly payouts. House, 1000 After the first month, 2000 And Senate, monthly unknown. But word on the street is, is this. Oh, deliciousness. $2,000 over six months, $12,000 a person. $1,400 over six months, $8,400 a person. Now, it was no less than just three days ago where we said, well, they may say the pandemic's over and just give you 12 checks for one year, which amounts to $13,000. But now there's suggestions that the pandemic may not be over. The Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, the pandemic's not over, he said. LA County, the pandemic's not over, they said. Other places like the airlines now saying the pandemic's not over. We're seeing that business travel's not coming back. That would mean that potentially the House may give you more than 12 checks. Compare that to the Senate over six months and this. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote. House of Senate. House of Senate. I want to see you voting. Tell me where you're tuning in from and where's and how's the weather. See how things change very quickly on this channel. That's right. You guys stay here. Who gets the four symbols check? You do. Democrats want everyone who got third symbols check to get the four symbols check. Single individual, 75,000 or less, you. Married couple, 150,000 or less, you. Double it from those Democrats. Democrats want to have a four symbols check to you if you are on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, and you're for family four. Democrats want you to have a four symbols check. Quadruple it. 
The forced stimulus check is not income. It's not taxable. And the forced stimulus check does not come in waves. It's not a waivable check. It's a monthly check. So do not try to wave at the check. So if you see the check at the coffee shop at lunchtime today and see the check trying to maneuver through um, the biscotti. <laughs> hey, check. How are you? I see you trying the biscotti. How are you? Uh, check didn't respond. Rude check. Uh, bo go biscotti yourself. <laughs> it's not a rude check. It just doesn't, uh, you know, it just doesn't uh, wave back at you. It's not a waveable check. It also doesn't understand Italian. <laughs> So there you go. The fourth stimulus check would must go to you in July, for the month of July, and in the month of August, for the month of August. And while Chuck and Nancy represent, the final vote will be done by July 4th. In the second part of this recording, you can see how they had the vote set up, and it's all wonderful news. But the second part of this video goes over that two-path process. And could there be more money in there for you than we originally thought? Spoiler, there is. <laughs> and the third part of this video, we go over the voting process. How they vote is so more critical than when they vote. And they can still get that stimulus check to you in July. But here's a preview of the second half of this video. It's fifth stimulus, and it heats up with another stimulus check. OMG. And gives you more benefits. And there was breaking news this morning. Oh, I got a lot for you later in this video. But let's get some money. Let's get some money. Nothing says 4th of July than money. And the great news is that you have been killing it. If you're on the live chat right now, jump in the live chat and say what you've gotten. I already saw Nisi in the live chat. She got $22,000. Post it again, Nisi. All right, you got three items. Post it again. John, he got $12,000 approximately for Snap this week. Post it again. Post your successes in the channel, in the live chat right now, because even you may have posted it before, it inspires other people to get it. It also updates me. Because look at these payouts. Let's go over all those items right now. Get that pen paper ready. And if it must be a Crayola crown, remember it's the 4th of July. It's red, white, and blue, and purple. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, you're going to reach out to different places. Each place has their different eligibility. And if one says no, reach out to the next until they say yes. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority. Your county hall, your county housing authority. Your state hall, your state housing authority. You're looking for rent, which is about five to six thousand, about five thousand dollars a month for four to six months. Utilities, mortgage assistance, and also homeowners utilities. The key words you're gonna say are rent assistance because of COVID, or mortgage assistance because of COVID, or utility assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or Mitch's mixtape drop date. <laughs> they don't know that. They don't want to know that. I don't want to know that. Ow, my ear. It just hurts to even think about it. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, and congratulations. The numbers are overwhelming. Viewers are getting $12,000, $10,000 for this rent. I say $5,000, but I've been disproven left and right. Viewers are getting $9,000, $8,000 routinely. Jump in the live chat what you got for rent right now. And the next bottle of money, John got $12,000 for his family. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, her son, and her mom. Gail got it as well. What is it? It's Snap. We have viewers daily who are getting six to eight thousand dollars a lot more than i thought another thing i was wrong on was utilities i was saying a couple hundred dollars for utilities viewers are getting three thousand dollars for utilities so how do you get that snap you reach out to department of agriculture doa and get it what is snap it is money for your food how much does it pay a fortune a family of four gets upwards of sixteen thousand dollars now in Hawaii, wow, why so much? Because of two long executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up between now and December. So go get it. Go get it. You're killing it. Fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars for SNAP, five thousand dollars for rent. Uh, you're killing it. I'm killing it. We're only ten, eight. Oh, we're only eight minutes of the video. Good. Uh, the check, um, you're not really killing it at all on that biscotti. <laughs> But boy, I got more money for you, and it's starting right now, and it's coming back from your states. How much money? About $5,000. One viewer got $5,000 for this. So what is it? It's the return of your money back from your states. States have ordered to return money back to you due to computer error. The federal government identified them as overpaying you due to computer error and then taking the money back. Uh -huh. It was your money to keep. The federal government has ordered a return back. So where is it coming? To the direct deposit. When? <laughs> Reach out to your respective state and say, hey state, where's that check due to computer error? And can you check it with a computer that actually works this time? Then finally, the big last pot of money is the money coming back from IRS. If you got that as well, jump in the live chat right now. Uh, and if you've missed anything and if you haven't jumped in the live chat, jump in the live chat right now and say what you got, what monies you got for this channel. It inspires other people. Uh, Tim got this 
uh, Ka got it, Margaret and Michael. What is it? It's the refund check from IRS. How much, when, where, and how can you track it? Let's go over all the details. How much? Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 of total taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit. Can you track it? Yeah, uh, you can track it 70% of the time. Go to irs.gov, do a transcript search, and 70% of the time, it will reveal stuff that you never knew, uh, stuff that you sort of don't want to know. <laughs> it will reveal when you filed that tax return, when you paid the taxes. It will reveal, uh, really, um, what is the um, the track list on Mitch's, draw, uh, Mitch's mixtape? <laughs> it will reveal, what is the, um, the history of Mitch's backup singing career? <laughs> That'll reveal the tax return you are, the tax refund you're getting. Oh my goodness, can we top that? We can. As we go into this huge second part of your Force Simulus Check update starting right now. A couple things you need to know right now is that your money has always been in the recon. Your money is still in the recon, but the difference today is that the recon is in three better positions than it was a week ago. And in the second part of this video, we'll be going over that process and what unfolded what you need to know number one is don't say anything like dragging their feet because you're going to see in this video that these people have been plotting this out <gasps> did i say plotting this out uh preparing this out i'm giving you a preview of this third part of this video had they been scheming this out no they've been preparing this out <laughs> to make sure it gets passed and setting up mitch oh yeah yeah i'm spoiling too much for later this video let me go what's going over what's happening your recon always had your stimulus checks in there and also had other items in there. Recon was always lots and lots and lots of checks for lots of people. But it was overshadowed because of something called roads and bridges. And the president had a backdrop about pictures of some roads and bridges. He appeared in front of some roads and bridges. He talked about roads and bridges. He said, I'm paying for this with corporate taxes because of roads and bridges. He never really talked too much about the recon. Was he using roads and bridges as sort of a pitch? As sort of like a title for something that really wasn't? Uh, well, there was roads and bridges in there, but was he also having meetings at the same time? He was. We now learn that over three and a half weeks ago, when he was talking about roads and bridges, roads and bridges, roads and bridges, he was actually having meetings with Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, to take roads and bridges out and to pass it without roads and bridges. <gasps> Were they using roads and bridges as sort of like a, I don't know what you would call it, sort of like a, you know, a, a thing to sort of say what it is, but it really wasn't that? You decide. Because what happened was, not this last Wednesday, but the Wednesday before that, they had the final meeting. Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and the president said, away we go, roads and bridges coming out of the recon. <laughs> and we're going to pay for the recon the same way we were when roads and bridges was in there. And we're going to still pass the recon the way it was before. Except it said it's not going to be called roads and bridges anymore. It's going to still be called just recon. And suddenly your roads and bridges were put into their own spinoff TV series called Nash Bridges. No, that was the one with Don Johnson. Not Nash Bridges, Roads and Bridges. Sorry, bipartisan. It's now called bipartisan. The two-path process was established a week ago last Wednesday, and two paths we go. Recon, your stuff, and bipartisan, Roads and Bridges. Remember, Roads and Bridges taken out and put into bipartisan, and your stuff in the recon. Now, why did this suddenly deliver to you three wonderful elements of great news? Number one, identity. The identity of what the recon was, was uh, distorted because it was always being called just roads and bridges. In fact, the naysayers are having a lot of fun for the last three weeks. It's only roads and bridges. There's no money for you in there. It's just roads and bridges. Now the naysayers are really angry ah, because they took the roads and bridges out. They can't say that there's only roads and bridges in there anymore because now it's out. They also got very angry, those naysayers, ah, because Mitch McConnell uh, put them in a corner. How? By trashing the recon and telling you what's in there. So Mitch McConnell, in a fit of angriness, said, well, the recon is just lots of checks for people. And it's a, lot, it's a big Democratic wish list with a lot of progressive checks for people that stay at home that shouldn't have been getting checks. Well, thank you, Mitch. You just explained to the American people what's in the recon. I really appreciate it. That was the first thing, that suddenly it had its own identity. Now, did they sort of keep that identity quiet over those prior weeks? Well, you'll have to decide in the third part of this video. Was this a setup to make Mitch um, upset? Uh, you're going to see that in just 10 seconds from now. The second part of the recon that got wonderful great news because of this divesting of the roads and bridges into its own path is that suddenly the recon was protected. Protected, because what's in the recon? Only progressiveness.
There's only progressive things in the recon. There's checks for you. There's checks for seniors. There's checks for children. There's checks for medicine. There's checks for housing. Yeah, uh, what's going on here? What's going on here is that once the recon had taken out the roads and bridges, the recon went from here to here, got smaller. And two wonderful things came from that. Number one, they were able to protect the recon like a fort. Number two, it made it easier to pass the recon because a smaller recon is easier to pass. Number three, it made Mitch very angry because now the recon which she doesn't want to pass can pass because it's smaller. When Mitch is angry, you're winning. <laughs> and finally, it got very good news because now that the roads and bridges were out, the progressives could add more to the recon. More to the recon? Yes, you're hearing all these surprising details on noontime. We saw the details about protecting the recon two weeks ago, but we didn't know, excuse me, a week ago, but we didn't know why they were protecting it until they divested it from the bipartisan. Brian Schatz and Camille and, uh, and Jalapal both said that the White House considers the progressive priorities in the recon its own priorities. Oh, so the roads and bridges was really not a priority. It was the progressive policies in the recon. I got it. Number two, a wonderful op-ed that was released yesterday on a conservative news publication, uh, says that the Republicans should never have allowed to take the roads and bridges out of the recon because now it's easier to pass your recon. <laughs> Mitch got set up. I don't know. Uh, he just sort of fell for the bait. <laughs> this is what the op-ed says. The higher the recon was, the harder it was to pass. But by allowing the Democrats to take out the bipartisan parts, roads and bridges, it made the overall recon bill smaller, obviously. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon easier to pass. We should have never agreed to take out of the bipartisan because now it's giving the president a way to pass his recon. Oh, you now see why Mitch McConnell is so angry. <laughs> oh, boy, is that delicious. <laughs> How did we get to this wonderful spot from Jalapal? And you're going to see later in this video, was this planned ahead of time? Oh boy, you sure better wish it was. I'm going to show you how it was. Jalapal had written a letter to Schumer saying, call the vote, Chuck, call the vote for the recall. Now, that letter was signed by 12 House Democrats from among the 100 plus House Democrats who had written the president letter saying, Mr. President, right, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Wow, can we top that news? We can, as seven House Democrats wrote the president a letter saying, we're going to be putting four stimulus checks into the fourth stimulus recon. Well, who are these people to say this? They're on the House subcommittee called House Ways and Means, which are going to be referring to later in this video. And they wrote your third stimulus recon. They represent, that gave you a stimulus check. They represent, they're putting monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus recon. And they also say they're doing your fifth stimulus recon in next year. Remember, recons are only written by the Democrats. They're not written by Dem Republicans. <sighs> They also wrote your first and second stimulus check. Can that get better than that? We can, as the president anchored a fourth stimulus to the edge of the finish line by going overseas two week three weekends ago to get an international agreement, which pays for the provisions about corporate taxes for recon. If you notice something that's sort of devilish, <laughs> is that recon and roads and when roads and bridges was in recon, it was being paid for by raising corporate taxes. Once Roads and Bridges was taken out of the recon, how are they still paying for your stimulus checks? Roads and Bridges, they're paying for it with, with corporate taxes. Suddenly your corporate taxes was used as a way to get the big recon passed, whether or not the Roads and Bridges are in there. Now that re Roads and Bridges are the bipartisan, they're not being paid for by corporate taxes. Recon is still. What did the president devilishly do? The president wanted to pay for recon and is paying for recon by raising corporate taxes. To which he said to his legislators' teams, I'm worried that if we raise the corporate taxes, business may move overseas. Well, he reached out to those other countries overseas and said, hey, let's raise the corporate tax rate. And they said, yeah. To which he said to his staff, our staff is going pretty well. Let's go visit these countries in December and bring them some of Jill's potpourri and have them sign on the dotted line. The staff said, no, Mr. President, you can bring the potpourri in June. It's Europe. They do things differently. Like drive on the other side of the road. <laughs> bring them the potpourri and they'll sign on the dotted line now. 
And that's what he did three weeks ago tomorrow. They sign on the dotted line, which anchors for stimulus recon to the edge of the finish line. Because now the corporate taxes internationally are no longer needed to be a provision in forced stimulus recon. They're in the international agreement. Make it a pa easier to pass your forced stimulus recon because the provisions about international taxes are in the international agreement. If you hear that, that's Mitch getting very angry. <laughs> and boy, can we top that weekend as we go into the third, third and final big finale of your fourth stimulus check and fifth stimulus package coming up after this commercial break. But is there something more wonderful than that? Yes, the volunteers. If you need help with rent, utilities, mortgage, or internet, or SNAP, reach out to the volunteers. And that's what we're doing on this channel. When third stimulus passed, I told viewers, yeah, you'll get $1,400 stimulus checks. But you qualify for $14,000, many of you. And in fall 2020, that's what I was doing. I said, hey, second stimulus is not passing. You need money. So I stepped up and I got viewers a quarter million dollars of red utilities. But in December, when you needed money, because second stimulus was not yet coming, it eventually came. But viewers like Tyrone got $15,000 in December, paid his rent for his family all the way up to spring of this year, family four in Boston. And I did that in spring of 2020, EIDL, to help people save their business, their homes, and also their employees' homes. Well, viewers are learning from this channel that you don't care what the check is called, so long as it's a lot of money. And that's why viewers are getting $10,000, $12,000, $22,000, $5,000, $8,000. And they're not sitting around and asking, what day am I getting a four stimulus check? They're cashing the checks. And if you've tried to get these checks and you're having problems, don't worry. We have people to help you. They're the volunteers. They're the salt of the earth. And where are they? They're on the community page. How do you find the community page? Open the description of this video. Go down. You'll see a link to the community page, an emoji of a house. Click the link. And there are a picture of some kitty cats on the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. Lower down are the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them. They help you nationally. But they can help you if it's a stata. They can't fix your roof. Um, they cannot share their Crayola crowns. Uh, they cannot tell you if it's muddle blue or murdered blue. They cannot decide whether it's Casey Royal or Kans or or Cardinal Red. <laughs> but they can certainly help you get Red Utilities, Internet, and Snap. And there's more about them right here. And I'll be back in 60 seconds with you with a big finale. Don't miss it of your fourth stimulus check update. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now. Then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Noontime LA with incredible details about your fourth stimulus and fifth stimulus. I'm really excited for you. In the third part of this video, we'll be going over the voting process, how they vote, which is more critical than the day they vote, and the great news about what's happening next week. Then we turn to fifth stimulus, which heats up this fall with another stimulus check. Oh my goodness, subscribe. 
This is Ally. Make sure you subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. Next up, 1 million. Also, like this video. Every like helps. It also delivers a side of parsley. And consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that fifth stimulus first to start. Fifth stimulus is wonderful. It starts this fall. And that fifth stimulus is written by the same House subcommittee members. Those House subcommittee members are currently marking up the fourth stimulus. One of the viewers who has already put on um, troll status during the commercial break thinks that that subcommittee members release you, release the American people everything that they're drafting. They don't. You don't see things until there's actually a vote. And uh, people just assume that there's transparency when things are in draft format. They just don't do that. The great news is that they represent they're going to be doing a fifth stimulus check. They put it in writing already. And that fifth stimulus check would be recon, would not involve Republicans. And it would be in December. Uh, for, for or November for a vote would come in January of next year. Number two, the president has done a wonderful thing. He has dedicated $1 billion to the Social Security Administration in his new budget to ensure that checks go out on time. That's third stimulus, fourth stimulus, fifth stimulus, and your benefits checks. If you have not received a second, first, or third stimulus check, you need to file a tax return and request it specifically on the tax return. If you haven't done both things, reach out to a tax preparer. And finally, the big news to start the dig day is also the new job creation number, OMG. The new job number was released this morning and it showed massive job growth last month, signaling inflation is coming up. It beat Wall Street's estimates. Now, what you've learned really well over the last few days is how this stimulus with the raising of your benefits works. It starts by raising your benefits up and then applying a new benchmark. Let's go over the calculation and the breaking news that impacts this as well. First, they'll raise your benefits up one big time. Then they'll apply an inflationary benchmark. They'll then remove the asset limit, remove the income exclusion, and then remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over how this works. You've already learned that first, Thing is they raise your benefits up one time in the fifth stimulus. Who's you? You. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, your benefits will be raised up one big time and also multiple benefits. Then you've also learned they apply a benchmark and you understand the benchmark is applied in December for next year's benefits. You also have learned from this channel that the benchmark is now inflation or proposed to be inflation and that you've also learned that inflation is going up. Finally, you've also learned from my reporting that Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve last Wednesday, said that the inflation rate will reach its highest point around December when they apply your benchmark. OMG, now this is getting good. So the only thing that's left to question is when are they going to pass this and how high is that inflation number? Let's go over what analysts are saying today again as well. They're still staying around 10% they're thinking it may go to from a 4% potentially right now. Let's use that number. Let's say it is 10%. Your benefits will be raised up plus 10% next year, but not just next year. That's lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. So the inflation rate next year is 2%. Then your benefits will be plus 2, plus 10%. Oh my goodness. That is wonderful news. Next, they're going to remove the asset cap, dating back to a 1960s law. This is set 80s law. This is you can't have more than $3,000 on hand and and also stay on benefits. They're going to remove that so you can have some stimulus checks in your hand and a nice taco. <laughs> They're going to remove the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and also stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. Love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. You'll no longer fear the marriage penalty. And viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear loss of benefits. And there you go. That's fist stimulus. Now, if you're in the live chat and you have not gotten money yet from this channel and you have not gotten $5,000, $10,000, $12,000, $22,000 like Nisi or John or all the people who've got five dollars to $6,000 for SNAP, what are you doing? You need to get that money. It's your money to get. It's in third stimulus. It was put in there for you. How do you get the money? If you notice, most of the people that are reporting the big receipt of the money are members. They have emoji next to their name that's a purple hawk. To become a member, click the link at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Members have learned from me how to get this money because they get delivered from me daily, a breakdown of all the big monies that are in third stimulus for you to get. It's your money to get. Why would you not get this tens of thousands of dollars? It's application-based, and most of the viewers qualify for it. So go get it. Consider becoming a member so you get delivered daily from me via the YouTube community page, a breakdown of all the big money under third stimulus for you, fourth stimulus, 
and also fifth stimulus. Okay, which brings us to our big finale of the fourth stimulus check update of 2021, and we're going into it right now. It's the most important part with a lot of breaking news you're hearing only for the first time at new time. First, get that calendar out, because guess what? It looks a little bit like my recording from July 2020. Remember my recording in July 2020 where I said, hey, Fox News, you remember that recording? There was a couple of the high Fox News recordings, maybe about 12 of them. What did I record at the time? In 2020, Fox News ran a story that said, they're out of town. They're not doing anything to September. They're not in session. And when they were running that story, guess what was actually happening? The GOP was in session in the Senate approving a Supreme Court nominee. So <laughs> they were not only in session, but they were actually working. Uh, and they were also in town. So what am I preparing you for? What I'm preparing for you is the calendar. Here's what you need to know. The word in session for voting is not the same word as in town. And every year it becomes a question of confusion and also fake narratives. So I'm preparing for you right away. In session means that the room that the House votes on is closed. And in session means that the Senate floor that they, room that they vote on is closed. It does not mean someone's out of town. It does not mean they left D.C., Washington, D.C. It means they're just down the hall. They're not in that room. Now, here's what you also need to know is that they are actually working next week. They've potentially watched the videos on this channel because guess what? They actually released news statements yesterday, today, saying, hi, we're working next week. And who released the statements? The people who are drafting your recon. The House Ways and Means Committee, which is drafting your multiple stimulus checks, they represent, and the House Budget Committee, which is one of the most important parts of the, the wording of the force stimulus, have both already indicated they are meeting in session day after day next week to work on the legislation a recon. So one, they haven't left town. Two, they actually issued a pre-statement before the weekend saying, oh, we are definitely in town next week, and we're definitely even working every single day, and we're definitely working in our subcommittee. So they are getting ahead of the news, which I just love it. Next, as to calling votes, we've done this video a lot, but it wasn't since last some, last year. Even though the floor door may be closed where they vote on stuff, the, even though the door in that room where they vote stuff on in the Congress is closed and the key is in, you know, in Nancy's hair, uh, they can unlock the door at any time. The Speaker of the House, Chuck Schumer, can call, can put the members back in session at any time and call a vote. The president also has authority under the Constitution. Now, we saw this last year when Nancy Pelosi ordered the House back in session to vote on Louis DeJoy. Remember the postal officer? She called everyone back in session. We're going to vote on this. And she did. And they were done. And they were done in 15 minutes. And they were, they were done. The president also has a constitutional authority. So as to the calendar, I want you to understand that if you hear anyone saying September, or, you know, not going to do anything on vacation, out of town, just now you know it's all false. Next, it's important to know how they call the vote is more important than when they call the vote. Here's what you need to know. It's currently, what, 12 noon in Los Angeles. If you heard someone tell you right now, they're calling the vote on your recon at 5 o'clock today. Oh, wow. If you go in the corner and do a victory dance because they're finally calling the vote, here's what you need to know. You're probably going to break your leg because ultimately they could come out 10 seconds later and say, and by the way, we're calling the vote on the bipartisan at 1 o'clock in, in 20 minutes from now. Why can't I dance still? I'm getting my check. They're, they're calling the vote in July. They're calling the vote by July 4th. Isn't that great? No. Your recon's going to die. You're going to get nothing. <gasps> what do you mean? Here's what you need to know. How they call the vote is critical. If the recon is called for a vote after the bipartisan, it dies and you don't have another chance, and there'll never be any money for anyone. You have to call the recon for a vote first or concurrently with the bipartisan. So how they call the vote is critical, not the day they call the vote, because if you mess it up, you're not getting anything. Nothing gets passed. And so they have to call it concurrently or first. Next, it's great news to know that that's protected for you. Because Leader Schumer, Speaker Pelosi, are the only two people in under the Constitution who can determine when things are called for a vote, how they're called for a vote, and where they're called for when they're called for a vote. And they've already indicated they're calling your by they're calling your recon first or concurrently with the bipartisan. Finally, can we even top that? Yes. 
as now we're starting to see that if you look at the quotes from the Democrats and the progressives over the last three weeks, they've been preparing this very quietly and not telling anyone but themselves. Was Mitch McConnell set up? Let me show you why. Recon up to, not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday before, could not have passed because it was too big. So what did they do? They pitched the American people, they pitched those foreign countries to all say that we need this recon to be done by raising corporate taxes. When they always knew that that, that time that the roads and bridges was coming out of it. They knew roads and bridges was coming out of it far before last Wednesday. And in fact, a quote from Jalapal, which I've been reading since this last Monday, says that she had polled her progressives and Democrat members before they even divested the recon from the bipartisan. And they had said, no, we have to call the vote on the recon a certain way. As that op-ed says, the Republicans never should have agreed to take the roads and bridges out of the recon because now the recon can pass. Had they left that stuff in there, the Republicans would have stopped your recon. Fascinating. As Nancy Pelosi says, there ain't going to be no bipartisan unless we have a recon vote first. And she goes on to say, and I said there won't be a bipartisan unless we have a recon. Plain and simple. In fact, I use the word ain't. There ain't going to be a bipartisan unless we have a recon. Pass in the United States Senate first. Amen. Did everyone set this up beautifully? So that as Representative Elon Omar says, we have a commitment that regardless of whatever happens with a bipartisan, they will give us a recon that goes as far as we want. As far as we want. Notice what happened here? A big recon that was called Roads and Bridges, but it was not the priority of the president, Roads and Bridges. Took out the Roads and Bridges as quickly as they could take it out. Took out the Roads and Bridges, had the pay fors for corporate taxes, still the pay fors now that Roads and Bridges are out. Now that it's easier to pass because it's smaller, now they're adding stuff in there, back in there, on top of what was in there already for you. Like Rep Ricky Torres, who says he must have money for housing in there. And as Omar says, we're going to make it go as far as we want that recon to go, as high as we want it to go. Now the roads and bridges are out. They have a lot of space to add more stuff in there. Oh, my goodness. This is getting good. And the goodness is far from over. And with that, I have more exciting details for you on Afternoon's Ally. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. You see why this is getting so fascinating. Finally, all the provisions that you need are in the recon. Everything that you don't need is somewhere else. And your recon is number one. Your recon is the number priority. And that's what they want to pass. Like this video. Two, three thousand likes every like helps. It also helps in the video's ranking. And consider becoming a member so you get access to all the big money across the board that you can get across that third stimulus. Get fortunes from this channel starting right now. And with that, I'll see you next on Afternoons at Light at 3 p.m. and Evenings at Light and Overnight's Crypto. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Light for more.